could see Sister Monday everywhere I looked. I would see her standing in the dark corners of my room. I wouldn't dare step foot off the bed until morning because I knew she was hiding under my bed, waiting for the perfect opportunity to grab my feet and pull me under. door was cracked, I would swear she was inside watching me sleep. How long are we supposed to hang out here, Gabby? Just let her take her pictures. I promised Mom I would let Ashley Kay do some things she wanted to do. So does your sister want to be an archaeologist or something? Yeah, what, was she looking for a bone? You go to school with her, Michael. Don't you know her interests? Well, really, I'm just in her psychology class. Oh, really? Is that why you're here? I mean, I think I'm her friend. I just didn't know that she likes old churches. She dislikes photography and history and dumb stuff. And besides, the only way my parents would let us use the vacay house this weekend is if I brought her along, so why don't you both just deal with it? So how long is this going to take? She has stops planned all the way up to Asheville, so why don't you pump the brakes? It's gonna be a while. Um, hey, I'm her friend. Maybe I can speed things up. Because I'm ready to party! <laughs> Come on!
We are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Yeah, how about we get through this weekend? Michael, you're ruining my shot. And you're ruining the weekend per usual. So what's the story about this place, Ash? It's an old church. Uh, you know, if you're gonna drag us along your tour of abandoned roadside junk, the least you could do is give us some history. I mean, it's been a while since your sister and I were in college, but I still enjoy a good lesson. I'll teach you a good lesson later. Sorry, Anthony. There are no tits or alcohol involved in this story, so you wouldn't be interested. I wanna know. Cereal. This is old Horse Creek Church. It used to be a convent and about 30 nuns lived here until a mysterious fire burned it down in 1945. Mysterious fire? 1945, back then everyone used fucking torches for lights. Mystery solved. All of the nuns were either moved to other convents or assigned different duties in surrounding cities. But there was one nun, Sister Monday, who took a job at a nearby prison. Sister Monday is the most remembered of all the nuns that lived here. She's always been obsessed with the nuns. It's like a sickness. So what made Sister Monday so remembered? Because she was accused of killing prisoners while they were at the jail serving out their sentences. So she was one bad mother. Boo. The prisoners begged for mercy. They got None. You know, the prison she was assigned to isn't too far from here. It's right through those woods, actually. I've always wanted to go there and see what it looks like in person. Well, too bad we gotta get back on the road, so can't. Where'd you put them? Uh, up your ass. Why are you such an asshole? What's wrong? Anthony lost the keys and the doors are locked. I didn't lose the keys. I probably dropped them at the church. I'll go check. Great. We just had to stop in the middle of nowhere so little Inspector Gadget could do her investigation. Don't blame me because your boyfriend lost his keys. Oh, who should I blame then? The nuns? Ooh, the scary nuns. Shut up. Why is it impossible for you to have normal interests? We're literally out here in the middle of nowhere at some burnt down church so you can take pictures of your nun obsession. Oh yeah, Gabby. I should totally be more like you and obsessed with dicks. Mm. Maybe if you were, you wouldn't be so jelly of me. Jelly? Yeah. Look, I know I'm the favorite of the parentals, but you can't blame that shit on me. Yeah, you're right. Nothing is your fault, ever. No, it isn't. And now it's starting to rain. Hey, guys, it's, it's cool. No, it's not cool. I looked for the keys. I found none. Stop with the puns. Great. So now what? Well, we can stand around here and wait for help to arrive. Come on. I'm not getting a signal. Perfect. Look, we can walk to the next town for help, or at least get out of the storm. Well, we're losing light here. It's gonna be dark soon. Hey, that town where the jail is, is it far from here? No. We can make a beeline for it through those woods. We could stay there the night and find help in the morning. So you just wanna leave the car and go hiking through the woods to find an abandoned haunted jail to take shelter in? Sounds like a a haunted jail? No one said it was haunted. Alright, 
if we're doing this, let's do it. There it is. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's it, huh? Yeah, come on. Wait, like, how do we even know we can get in? The rain is coming. Yeah, we need to get inside, so... Hey, maybe we should, uh, go back to the car? Just in case someone stops to see if we're okay? Uh, yeah, maybe we should go hide the car, because it's safe. Hey, eat a hot bag of dicks, man. Um, yeah, hi. Come on. What the hell's your problem? What did happen to Sister Sunday? Monday. Monday. What do you mean? Well, you said she supposedly killed a bunch of prisoners, so what happened to her? So, like I was saying at the church, she was suspected of killing prisoners here in the jail. As more and more victims started turning up, the warden knew something was wrong. I mean, apart from the occasional suicide or Flight between prisoners, there were just way too many deaths occurring. The warden suspected Sister Monday, but before she could officially be brought in for questioning, she disappeared. Dis disappeared? Yep. Vanished without a trace. Right. I mean, eventually the place had to close down due to all the bad press. The state cut off funding and no one wants to privately invest in a jail. So the place was closed and no one heard from Sister Monday again. And they all lived happily ever after. Next. You know, some people think she returned here after the jail closed to live out her final years. Some people think she still wanders these halls, looking to punish those who deserve it. Huh. Being here is so strange. I mean, knowing everything that happened here, actually being here is really insane. I mean, can you feel it? Feel what? Her presence, Sister Monday. I mean, she was here. This is where she lived. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel it. It's... Both of these. What? Shh. It's both of these. What is it? Who is that? Both of these nuts! Ha <laughs> ha! So fucking stupid. <laughs> You're a fucking retard. Whoa, hey, Jesus, you can't say that. That's very. Excuse me. You're right. You're a freaking retard. Oh, yeah, that's much better. So what do we do now? I want to go explore. No. The point of coming here was to get out of the storm. I am not playing urban explorer with you. Fine, stay here. I don't care. Yeah. Okay, uh, you guys go look at junk. And uh, I'm sure we'll be fine here. I'm sure you will. Yeah, wait up. I'll, I'll come to you. Come on. 
This must lead up to the cells. Hey, do you have any snacks in there? I'm starving. Oh, it's just... Just my camera and some stuff, so... Come on. Hey, you know, I was thinking maybe we shouldn't go up there. Because the floors are unstable. This is where they used to hang all the prisoners, right here in this tower. How do you know that? My dad used to tell me bedtime stories about this place when I was younger. Your dad used to tell you bedtime stories about this place? To like, make you fall asleep? My dad and I had a special relationship. You know, he was never one to hide things from me. Even if he knew it would scare me, he thought it would make me a stronger person to know the truth. Right, yeah, that makes sense. You know, Sister Monday would stand right there and watch every execution. You know, I bet witnessing all of that death is what caused her to carry out her own form of justice within these walls. You, know, you kind of sound like a Dateline 2020 voiceover, you know that? In a cool way, it's, it's cool. Okay. Are you just gonna stand there all night or what? What the fuck are they doing out there? Hopefully they lock themselves in a jail cell, I don't care. Let's go find them. Look, I really don't feel like looking for them or anything else we might find up in this shithole. Gabriella. Are you scared of ghosts? No. I'm not scared. Then you shouldn't be scared of that. What? You're so stupid. Your face. Your mom's face. <laughs> Come here. Let's go, jerk. It's a list of the prisoners who were kept here. Oh, well, look, there's photos too. Putting 
faces to these stories really makes it feel real. Makes what feel real? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You can't go around scaring people in a haunted jail. You might give your sister a heart attack. Love that story. We found a bunch of photos of the prisoners that were here. I'm sure a lot of them met their fate at the hands of Sister Monday. Let me see. Oh, that guy was awful. What did he do? Murder. Oh, uh, I read about this guy. This guy here, you listening? This guy used to bang goats. Constantly. That's gross. Constantly bang goats. Wake up, my child. Sister. What are you doing in here? I'm here to give you communion. Are you sorry for your sins? Yes. Yes, I am. Good. Then take this and accept forgiveness from our Savior. You're not afraid to be in here with me? If they find you, if the warden finds you... I'm not afraid to be here. The Lord is on my side. I am sorry for what I did, sister. Good. Here. Take this. Is broken into pieces. This is my body, and it is given up for you. And this is the new covenant, an agreement made between God and his people, and you will drink his blood and think of him. Drink it!
Hey, there you are. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Uh, okay. sister in law was my mom's idea. Why? Is there something you want me along for? Maybe. I mean, is there something you need to ask me? At the cabin? By ourselves? Can I stick it in your butt? Oh, idiot. No. So. Back at the church, your sister said you're into photography and history and stuff? Yeah. I mean, I like local history, things I can see and research myself, you know. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I didn't know that about you. You know, I, I only see you in psychology class at school and never really see you outside of school. Like a date? No. Not on a date, like socially. I don't know your interests and Things you like and, you know... Like a girlfriend. You shut up. I can sum it up for you. She likes books and reading and research and not shopping or having fun. Oh, and she loves creepy nun stories. Those are her favorite. And what do you like, Gabby? Not being married at your age and peaking in high school? Peaking in high school? Really? It is so obvious you're still jealous of me because I went to private school and you had to go to public school with all the freaks and weirdos. I didn't want to go to private school. I was perfectly happy at public school. Right. Keep telling yourself that. I was. Dad and I used to laugh about the teachers at your school. He used to tell me all sorts of stories about the nuns there. Lawler skating. You know why he told you those stories, right? He felt guilty because he and mom couldn't afford to send you there with me. What are you talking about? You and Dad didn't have some special bond, Ash. He only told you those stories to make you not want to go to my private school. To hide the fact that it cost so much, so he just made up some creepy nun shit to scare you that you obviously believed. I didn't want to go. Good. Then it worked. So, why didn't you guys go to the same school? I had been going to private school for years at Our Lady of the Majestic. And by the time little AK was old enough to go, our parents couldn't afford to send us both. So instead of pulling me out and traumatizing my life to which I'd become accustomed to, they sent her to public school where she belongs. How is it that your parents can afford a vacation cabin but not send them both to get private school? Our financial situation has since improved. So anyway, like I was saying, I like local history. Once my dad told me the story of Sister Monday, I was hooked. Even though it scared me, I wanted to know more. So that's why I'm writing my thesis on her. Thesis. Whatever that is. Well, actually, Gabrielle, it's a long essay or dissertation based on personal research. Shut up. Say what you want about me and dad, but Sister Monday was real. What she did was real. I mean, we're standing here in the middle of history. I'm gonna go explore. Are you coming, Michael? 
Yeah, sure. Oh, and to answer your question, Anthony, yes, she will let you put it in her butt. It's her favorite method of birth control. She was watching me as a kid. The seat taken? My dad really did used to tell me those stories about Sister Monday when he'd tuck me in at night. Like, I begged to hear them. So, it's not like he was trying to scare me. I just wanted to know more.
Hey, kiddo. You ready for bed? Daddy. <laughs> so, you say your prayers? Yes, I did. Did you God bless your mom? Yes. And your dad? <laughs> yes. What about your sister? Um, yes, her too. That's my good girl. Wait, Dad, can you please tell me another story about Sister Monday? I told you that if you get scared, then I'll never tell those stories anymore. I'm not scared. Well, I am a little bit scared, but I like it. <laughs> you like being scared? Yes. Okay. One time, Sister Monday visited the cell of a prisoner who was in jail because he did unspeakable things. What kind of things? What kind of things, you ask? Terrible. Terrible. He used to tell me these stories about how she would sneak into prisoners jail cells and kill them. And later they would be found dead and were just assumed to have killed themselves or died of natural causes. Afterwards, I'd be too afraid to sleep. I would see Sister Monday everywhere I looked. I would see her standing in the dark corners of my room. I wouldn't dare step foot off the bed until morning because I knew she was hiding under my bed, waiting for the perfect opportunity to grab my feet and pull me under. my closet door was cracked, I would swear she was inside watching me sleep. Of course, I never actually told my dad how scared I was because I didn't want him to stop telling me the stories of Sister Monday. I just liked that he spent time with me. Plus, I knew it was something that he only shared with me. And something that he didn't tell Gabby. Just me and no one else. Do you think those stories he told you were real? Yeah, of course they're real. No, I mean, like Gabby said, do you think your father told you those stories so you'd be afraid of nuns? So you wouldn't want to go to a private school he couldn't afford to take you to? Regardless of his intentions, Sister Monday was real. What she did was real. And we truly are sitting in the middle of history here, Michael. Yeah. Look, well, the mind is a powerful tool that the fears we get from our thoughts can sometimes be more terrifying than real life. Sometimes our childhood fears can manifest into our realities. What are you like a psych major or something? <laughs> I am, actually. Mm -hmm. I took that as a compliment. <laughs> no wonder I sit next to you in class. You're actually pretty smart. Look, all I'm saying is sometimes we are more scary than what we fear. Yeah. I guess I just thought by coming here, I could face my fears. I get it. It's a brave thing to do. Especially here, because it's scary as shit. <laughs> hey, can I show you something? Yeah, I guess. Okay, but you have to promise not to say anything. I have to promise not to say anything? Yes, you can't just swear. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All 
Are those? Anthony's car you keys? You stole those? Well, I... I really wanted to come here and I knew there was no way Gabby would agree to it otherwise. Oh my god. Well, that's why I didn't want you looking in my bag. So your whole plan was to head back and say, oh, look what I found. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. He's an asshole. Yeah, I know. He is a, he is an absolute dick. Can you believe that little brooch? Saying I peaked in high school. You do fight a lot. And then I'm not married at my age. Like, I know we're going to eventually get married. Yeah. I mean, how many years have we been dating? Three months. Exactly. It's like, why is she trying to make me look all desperate and shit? Jesus. forgive our sins. Do you accept him as our savior? Absolutely. Now about that wine. First, you will take the flesh of our Lord. agreement confirmed by my blood. You will remember me as often as you drink it. What the hell is this? That's not mine.
mercy on your soul. May God have mercy on your soul. May God have mercy on your soul. I've shit myself. Were you scared Sister Monday was gonna get you? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, I have to use the restroom too, so I'll just catch up with you later. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Number one or number two? That is none of your business. I see what you did there. I don't think the toilet paper is too ply. Left the seat up. That wasn't me. My foot slipped.
was a really long bathroom break. You uh, drop the kids off at the pool. Visit the Duke boys. Take the Browns to the Super Bowl. I got it. Nice cross. That's a big piece of wood. You like big pieces of wood? I too have a big piece of wood. Come on over here and check this out.
Anthony? Is that you? The mind is a powerful tool. Fear is from our thoughts. Sometimes be more terrifying than real life. Can I show you something? Yeah, I guess. Okay, but you have to promise not to say anything. You have to promise not to say anything? Yes, you can. Just swear. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Sometimes, our childhood fears can manifest into our realities. Sometimes we are more scary than what we fear. Wake up. We're here. Hurry up and take your pictures so we can go. Are you okay?
Yeah. I just had a bad dream, I guess. Uh, so you're going to take these pictures of the church or uh, what? Yeah, for your thesis, whatever that is. No, you know, I, I think I'm done with old ghost stories. Really? No more scary nuns? No more Sister Monday? I'm done with the past. It's time to start living for now. All right. Sounds good. So, uh... Next stop, cabin. Yes. 